Want to supercharge your Affinity Photo workflow? My free macros can turn complex edits into one-click magic, but first, you need to know how to install them. In this video, I'll walk you step-by-step step on how to get your downloaded macros installed into Affinity Photo, so you can start editing faster and more creatively. Let's get started. For those who are new to macros, they're basically pre-recorded editing steps that you can run in one click. Think of them as custom shortcuts for your favorite effects. And yes, the ones I provide are completely free, so if you haven't downloaded them, now is a good time to do so. You can find the links in the description. First, download a macro file. My macros come in a .af macros format. That's Affinity Photo's special file type for macros. Once downloaded, save it somewhere you can easily find it, like your desktop or a dedicated Affinity Macros folder. Next, open Affinity Photo. It doesn't matter if you open a new document or not, the macros will be installed into the app, not into a specific file. To import the macros file, you'll need the library panel to be visible. If you don't see it, go up to the top menu, click Window, and make sure Library is checked. The library panel is where all your installed macros live, organized into sets. With the library panel open, click the small menu icon in the top right corner of the panel. Select Import Macros and navigate to the .af macros file you downloaded earlier. Click Open, and just like that, the macros are installed and ready for use. You'll now see a new macro set in your library, usually with the name of the file. The imported set will contain the list of macros available in the set. To run a macro, make sure you have an image open and click on the macro name in the library. Affinity Photo will automatically perform the recorded steps. For example, here's one of my free macros in action. It applies the full effect in seconds, something that would normally take a couple of manual steps. You can rename macro sets, rearrange macros, or even create your own sets to keep things tidy. If you download a lot of macros, keeping them organized will save you from scrolling endlessly. If your macros don't show up during import, make sure that the downloaded file has the extension .aff macros. Sometimes the download is packaged in a zip file. If this is the case, make sure to unpack the file first before importing. Also, check that you're looking at the library panel, not the macro panel. They're different. The macro panel is used to record macros, whereas the library panel contains the list of saved or imported macros. Another quick way to import macros is just dragging the file into Affinity Photo. Again, make sure the file you are dragging has the extension .af macros. On a Mac, you can also double click on the file to import the macro. This will open up Affinity Photo and import the macro set. And that's it. You now know how to install and start using macros in Affinity Photo. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and grab more free macros from the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more Affinity Photo tips and resources. Thanks for watching and happy editing.